new album uh, is called Truth Seekers, uh, Lovers and Warriors, and um, uh, with this lineup we have uh, some fantastic musicians. As always, always trying to uh, outdo the uh, the last project, but um, it's it's a totally different uh, project. I, I don't really know how to describe it. We've got uh, Matt McMahon on piano again. He's uh, he was on the last album, and um, I thought you know had to have him on the next one. Of course, James Tawadros on percussion. Um, this time we've got a couple of great uh, artists. Uh, we have James Crab on accordion and uh, James Greening on trombone and. Uh, it, we've kind of got it together in such a short time but it's really uh, happening and there's a lot of energy and a lot of love and uh, we're really working through it and I think um, people will be surprised with what we've come up with. I've uh, always liked the idea of having a piano and a, an accordion uh, together because the, the accordion for me is almost like a string quartet. It's beautiful, it's got those chordal things but it can really carry out the melody and I wanted another instrument which would complement that but also be unique and fit with the compositions that I've come up with and um, I've wanted to work with James Greening for a long while now and uh, this was the perfect project for it. Joe's a fascinating musician with his background and uh, his skills in that area. Plus he, he brings a, a modern and slightly insane slant on everything, you know. And when I say insane, I'm, I'm being complimentary, you know. Because there's no bass and uh, there's no traditional drum kit. So I was thinking, oh, is my role the bass role? Is it like... Uh, what, yeah, what part to play, you know, so that's been a lot of my time in preparation has been trying to figure out how best to contribute to the sound, you know, and that was only really possible when we started playing together, because then I could, I could hear James Crabbe on the accordion and go, oh, right, so, you know, because it's such a full sound. Trombone, accordion, that's, that's quite unusual in itself. And not having a double bass is also, you know, that's a bit unusual. The piano, of course, creates the kind of centre of the harmonies, and then, you know, we've got the rhythm with, with Joey's brother James and then Joe. So, yeah, it's just finding where, where the textures can go, because it, it is a new a new kind of medium to play. It's finding where, where, where your role is in each piece, because they all have different moods, and so it's just, you know, trying to, to vary it as much as possible and, and get the, you know, the essentials out of the music. I think I think when you just have a lot of musicians that share just this common vision or a common, you know, dream of creating good music, that's that's the genre that you would call it. Just you know, just creating beautiful music and that's it. I think before um, looking at the instruments, you have to see um, the musicians themselves and see how they. Um, are cohesive in a group without the music and if you have that then you're halfway there and so you know these group of musicians they're, they're all amazing amazing people and as well amazing virtuosic musicians and so everything just falls into place quite easily musically and socially so um, yeah these guys are really professional and they're really good and the, the music benefits as a result it's just one of those things that makes you know, uh, say Joseph's music quite unique, the, the constant change of time signatures. Uh, and it makes it exciting, you know, it makes it challenging for myself personally and also for the other musicians involved. All the instruments are kind of what we're sort of sorting out exactly as we improvise. How are we going to do this? Of course, we have some arrangements, but I love that kind of thing where part of the part of the process makes the music. It's not just a set thing where you go, okay, the bass does this, the drums do this, and everyone knows what they're doing. It's like it's finding each other's roles, and I think that makes you have to be very alert, keep your ears out all the time, and it 
it probably comes up with something kind of that hasn't been heard before, maybe, you know, because there's no template exactly for how an ensemble of wood, trombone, accordion and piano and percussion really goes. I've played with Joseph quite a bit. We were just discussing the first recording I did with him was in 2008 in the studio. So I think this is my fourth recording with Joe, and uh, they're all different, but there's always, always some common features in it too. But I, I really enjoy it. It's a challenge, something different for me, but at the same time, Joe wants people to bring their own thing to it, so you, you really get a chance to kind of just play music. You know, it's, it's not a real agenda of having to play this way or that way. Joseph, playing the Oud, uh, has a history of playing Arabic, music and the modal system that they use and all that but he he composes music that really is just from his heart and brings all kinds of influences in so uh, some of it leans more to some of that Ar arabic music other bits and pieces sound almost a little bit more cuban or uh, maybe even just like a singer songwriter would write a song you know so all of joe's influences are all swirling around and of course the individual members of the group bring all our improvising languages with us too Although you would think possibly you've got a grand piano and like a beautiful concert piano accordion, you may think that it's the same range and everything, but timbrally, totally different. And James on the wreck and the other percussion, they just, they never dominate, but they come through so clearly. And obviously the oud is absolutely clear and the trombone sounds like nothing else, you know what I mean? So. There's real clarity all the time. You know, it's quite naked in, in a sense, you know, and I, I'm really enjoying that. Yeah, once you get over the fear. <laughs> I see it as chamber music in a way. I think uh, it's not ethnic in any way. It's it's just chamber, uh, chamber music with a lot of influences of jazz and maybe Latin music. And of course, the accordion kind of takes you to France and the oud takes you kind of to the Middle East. But I think it's a real good um, melding pot without with a, avoiding cliche and avoiding um, corniness. Um, I think it's just a, a bunch of guys getting together and, and making music. Thank you. 